the analysis of so the analysis of microorganisms this is something that uh, I'm going to just spend a little bit of time on this 10 minutes maybe so here the uh, if you look at the standards that uh, people use for analysis of uh, this thing are uh, represented as so if you look at CPCP standards for microorganisms it will be say 5 per 100 ml so 5 microorganisms per 100 ml so the microorganisms we are talking about are predominantly um, um, pathogens pathogens many of the pathogens are bacteria there are a few viruses and all that but mainly bacteria and uh, for quality water quality people count the number of bacteria in it so if, if the count is say 5 per 1000 ml of water uh, mainly it is water right now the focus is on water the bacteria in the air also fungal spores bacteria in air, airborne but there are no standards for it yet it's, uh, yeah, there is no it's, it's still going on people are, uh, are trying to develop it but uh, it will take some time for it to happen uh, so how do you count say 5 per 100 ml this bacteria the size is uh, around uh, so 1 to 10 microns that means I take 100 ml sample I have to see it count difficult to count uh, so you need a microscope so how do you do this you take 100 ml of sample you filter it put it on a filter paper and observe the filter paper if somewhere in the filter paper there are 5 microns so the filter paper are big 2.5 centimeters in size the micron you have to look for 5 microns somewhere so it is not very easy so this is a big challenge counting microbial populations is a big challenge which is uh, the one of the standard methods the old standard method um, that people use is what is called as uh, is, is to measure so it is based on a culturing uh, method so, um, a lot of people work on this uh, various uh, ways of doing it but one of the simplest method is you take a water sample and put it on a you culture the uh, the bacteria on a nutrient medium typically what you do is nutrient medium is you take a, a plate filled with some nutrients there are some standard nutrient nutrients is something in which the bacteria will grow so it uses this as a substrate and it will it will multiply so what people do is they take say 1 ml of water sample and put it on a nutrient medium they will put some water sample here and this there are say 5 bacteria and you cannot see it because it is uh, micron size and then you incubate it you incubate it for a day or maybe for, uh, for 24 hours at some temperature say 30 degrees centigrade or 25 degrees centigrade some temperature then what happens is this they allow the bacteria to multiply so the bacteria multiplies and it becomes so here it will become a small cluster it will multiply and it will grow around here so when it becomes big you can see it so the premise is that you have formation of a colony from each bacteria one bacterial cell will multiply to 2 4 6 8 it multiplies in some fashion and this uh, whatever was this one single dot which you cannot see now has become a colony okay so this is called as CFU or a colony forming unit
So, this takes time, no? this takes time, this takes 24 hours. So, that way you cannot get an immediate value of this thing, you have to take a water sample, put it on a nutrient medium, wait for 24 hours, then you can see either directly or you can look at it under a microscope, you can see, you can see this with, you can see it and you can, you can see directly. This is one way. There are other ways of doing it where you can look at it under a microscope. So, this, this is, if you are looking for 5, small numbers such as 5, you need to do these kind of things because it will increase your, uh, this thing. So, one of the things people do is, what if it has 100 already? If you have 100, you have no problem. You, there are other methods of doing it. If you do culturing, what may happen if you have very high concentration is, you already have a, a lot, yeah, you have a lot of these dots and this at the end of uh, one, one day, you may get a big jumble, you can get a big mass, you, you cannot differentiate how many were originally there. So, usually they, the analysis prefers that. If you have a very large number, you dilute it so that you can get distinct uh, masses of colony forms. So that, and you back calculate, you use the dilution. For example, if you have, uh, if you have 100, you dilute it 10 times, so you have 10. So, you find 10 colonies here, you multiply it by 10 to say you have 100 colonies, original 100 colony forming units, that is the count. So, 100 colony unit in 1 ml. So, you 10 ml is, you cannot take 10 ml on an agar plate or any of this nutrient, you take small, small amount. So, you have to multiply it by that volume. The assumption here is that it is uniform again. So, you have to do multiple samples. Same rules of analysis apply here. You are taking 1 ml for analysis from a big tank of water. I am not sure if this is uniform. So, you have to take multiple samples. So, same rules apply. So, because this is uh, a particle, Microbes are treated like particles. You can also look at it like a particle and uh, look at it in a microscope or in, there are a lot of instruments now available uh, which, which use microscopy in order to count bacterial cells and these are not standard methods, but people use what is called as flow cytometry. So, flow cytometry is used in uh, diagnostic analysis in blood. When you do blood analysis, uh, you will see them line there using flow cytometry. They will count the number of red, red blood cells, white blood cells and all that. They are cells which are about the same order of magnitude. So, there a similar kind of technique is used where they, they will take a sample of water and send it through a small channel and one bacteria will go one after the other. So, they will count that they can count like that. So, it, but these are not standard methods yet uh, to be used in uh, this thing. There are issues about uh, representation, sample representativeness and all that in these kind of things. So, this is a big challenge. Microbial analysis is a very big challenge and this is a very simple way of doing it. So, people use um, other may, ways of detecting bacteria also which, which includes uh, putting a dye, something called a staining. They put a dye and this dye will go and absorb on different organisms in, in order to distinguish between which bacteria or which uh, fungus it is and then you can use. Uh, uh, what is called as a fluorescence uh, microscopy microscope in order to detect uh, count and detect and count. The more sophisticated method if you want to know exactly what bacteria is there and all that you have to you can look at the bacteria, look at morphology, you can look, look at DNA analysis also to go to that extent and get what is the bacteria present there and all that. So, but that is uh, in the analysis of our, our scheme of things, that is a very sophisticated thing. So, you really want to find out uh, very specifically if there is a disease that is being caused, you want to know what it is. But for general water quality, people use uh, a simple method uh, to see something is growing or not. In general, if the concentration of microorganisms is very high, it will show up as uh, turbidity. So, water is not clear, which means it could be because of bacteria. A lot of bacteria is there. So, uh, it is a suspended particulate matter, suspended matter is very high. So, the turbidity, the uh, turbidity is one uh, measure of uh, microorganisms, but not always, you, you cannot be sure. So, the only way to make sure that it is a microorganism is to put it on a culture medium and see if it is growing. Uh, so, that is a surefire way of saying it because it is viable. What we mean by viable, viable is uh, living. There is a term called viable, there is a term called viable and non-viable. Non-viable means it is a dead cell which will not grow. 
So, a dead cell which will not grow is like organic matter, organic carbon, it, it constitutes in that fraction. It will not grow and it will not cause probably much harm, as much harm as a pathogen will. Because when uh, generally uh, people are uh, worried about microorganisms because they are pathogens and they will grow, they, they will cause an infection and infection is happening, it means something is growing, uh, bacteria is growing in the body. So, that uh, is a non-viable uh, organism which does not grow, it does not not that much of a danger than a viable organism is, okay. So, I think I will stop the analysis part here, we have a lot of ground to cover. So, I will start the next uh, section.